Hey guys, it's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. I wanted to talk to you about speeding up your computer today. One of the things that happens to a computer to slow it down is the amount of programs that are running in the background. Now some of these programs you might know about and want to run, but others are put there through other programs and they're unwanted or uninvited, I like to call them. And you know, if you install flash player and you didn't see the little button to uninstall a toolbar you may have a toolbar running in your background that you don't even know about which is taking away processing power and slowing you down so i'm going to show you how to use the ms config tool to manage what starts up on your machine and what doesn't let's get right into it on a windows 7 machine you can just type in ms config in the the search box if you're on a Windows XP machine you can use the run box and also type in MS config hit enter there are other tools in here but what I wanted to talk to you about right now was this startup tab so if we click on it these are a list of all the programs that could be set to start and if they have a uh, check mark next to them they will start when the machine starts up. Now, if, as you've noticed, I don't have but just this Java one checked. It's the Java updater. And all this other stuff's not on. And it used to be, and I went through and manually turned this stuff off, and that's how my machine is a lot faster. And just because you shut it off here, if I turn off my Adobe Acrobat here and choose not to have it start up, that doesn't mean that I don't have or can use Adobe Acrobat anymore. It just means that it'll take a little bit longer time to launch, but it will certainly still work. What the manufacturers do is try to get this stuff running full time in the background when you really don't even use them. Now, certain startup items are necessary. If you have anything to do with your printer, such as an HP printer spool or um, other words like that that refer to your printer you might want to keep those on that way you'll be able to print faster but other than that you could actually disable all these with this button and I don't know why you'd ever want to enable them but certainly you could disable now there is one more tab in here and it's called services and you can also look through here and turn services off and on just like you did the startup programs and this can also help quite a bit. And just remember, if you mess something up and it doesn't work correctly, you can always come back and turn it on. But by going through here and turning things off and on that you don't use will greatly speed up your computer. This is one thing that you can do that will make all the difference in the world. And then once you're done doing changes, you can hit the apply button and OK. And generally, you'll have to restart the machine before you'll see changes take effect. This is one way to uh, really speed up your machine, MS Config. Check it out. You'll like it. I hope you got some use out of this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link, and leave a question, and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.